Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Now in this episode, we're doing a full upgrade on the Canopy's electrical system. All right guys, this I'm pretty sure is actually the first episode that we're doing in the new workshop. It's not finished, but you can see it's getting there. So really exciting times, but today it's time to do an upgrade. Now I've been running the Red Arc BCDC for a while in the canopy and it's worked fine, but I found myself doing a lot more traveling these days, going around the country, so it's time to beef up the system. So I'm pretty much gonna put, this is the main sort of gear that's gonna go in the canopy. That's what we're gonna concentrate on today. Now the brains of the system is this Red Vision. So as we put it in, I'll go into more detail about all the different components, but this is sort of the hub. This is the brains of the system where everything's gonna go in and out. And then we've got the Manager 30, which is essentially the same sort of thing as that BCDC, but just on steroids basically. So it can take that 240 volt charging input. It takes all your solar, all that kind of stuff and works in with the Red Vision. And then of course, we've got a new inverter. So this has been beefed up. I had a 1000 watt before. Now this is the 2000 watt inverter. So I can run a lot more electrical stuff, keep the missus happy with the hairdryer and um, play me games. I don't know, bit of PS4 maybe. And then this awesome panel. Now, like I said, we'll go into more details about everything, but this is the new panel system. So essentially what changes with this whole Red Vision system is it gets rid of all your external relays cabling, like look, I've got it here anyway. This is the old system, all this junk. And I've ripped it out of the canopy because it has switches and then inside it's just an absolute mess with relays, all that kind of stuff. So what's really cool about the Red Vision is it's done for you. All you need to do is run in and out. It's got your earth there, it's got your power and they're actually in with plugs as well. So once the system's in there, you have everything wired in your car put the unit in and plug it in, you're good to go. As well as it all gets operated from this nice switch panel, getting rid of these big chunky rocker switches. And the coolest thing, it actually hooks up through either Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, I'll have to check that. But you can run it off your phone as well, so you can actually sit in your campsite, in your bed, turn your electrical system off on your phone. So that's really awesome. So, what I've done already, I've already gutted the canopy, that's all out there, come have a look, let's go this way. All right, so inside here was where my fridge was and that's gonna stay. So I've already measured up how much room I've got to play with. And what I'm gonna do is build a box to kind of enclose everything. So I'm going a bit of a step up before there was wires everywhere. So now we're gonna clean the system up. What I've got is everything that needs to be run off the Red Vision system ready to go. So once it's in there, all I could do is hook everything up. So we've got the solar panel up there, the input cables, we've got the lights for the doors, the lights inside. Um, there's the fridge and freezer. That all gets run off that system. All right, so while we let that uh, wrap set on the frame there. I'm gonna look at laying the thing out. So something I recommend when you put a new electrical system in, no matter what it is inside the car and the canopy, it's a good idea to lay it out on the table first. And this is where people run into a lot of dramas with confusing wiring is because they don't know where things are going, they add it here, add it later, start, whatever. So it's good to lay it out, see where you want it to go before you get inside the car and then you know everything is happy days. So we'll start from the Red Vision system. So this is, like I said at the start, this is the brains of the unit. Now, I love my wiring. There's no lie about that. Maybe it's because of my background in the engineering, but the reason I enjoy it is because if you do it right, it can be quite satisfying. And what they've done with this unit, because all the um, relays and switches is all done internally, it cleans up a lot of that mess. So for the, all these systems to talk to each other, they run through a cat, kind of a Cat5 digital system. So they use a lot of these, they almost look like internet cables. So we'll start with that. There's a few of them which are supplied, I marked it earlier. So the inverter is probably the simplest thing. You got a power and a ground, so that goes to the battery. And then this will uh, plug into the manager, or sorry, the Red Vision box and then into here. Now that'll talk to the whole system. So on your phone, you can see how much power 
wattage, voltage, current, everything that your inverter is pulling. On the other end, there's just a simple outlet with an on-off switch. So that's pretty simple, that's sorted. Now the next thing, we wanna to talk to the BMS. So that's the battery management system, which will handle your 240 volt charging, also your vehicle charging, your solar. So that is what flows in and out of charging the whole unit and your battery, which we're gonna need a battery. Let me grab that. So I'm still gonna be running my lithium, 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium battery. So the same system again, it has that CAN connection. So from that splitter, it goes out and that talks to your Red Vision. So that'll um, deal with all the other loads and your charging. So your phone and whatnot can see how much is coming into the car or whether it's plugged into your 240, stuff like that. Now, when you're talking batteries, we've also got a battery monitor that plugs in with the whole system as well through that Cat5 cable. And then you've got a positive going to the battery, your negative goes on here, and that creates a series circuit which can measure your current as well as measure your voltage off of this plug here. So current and voltage, which is the health of your battery. So you can measure that as well. And then the last one is obviously your, the brain, well not the brains, but the panel for the whole system. Where's that? Which is the control panel slash screen. Now you've got a little butt connector on the back to close the circuit of that Cat5 system. So that's all the brains laid out. And then from there, we pretty much just read what we've got on and what we want to plug in. So there's two banks, you could call it, of loads that you can go into this. So you've got a 10 amp bank of loads and a 30 amp. So from your 30 amp, you want to run things like your fridge, your freezer, um, any larger loads, maybe a compressor. Um, now the 10 amp loads will run things like LED lights. So that's where I'll be having all my switches in my canopy for the interior lights, the lights on the door, any little signals, screens, whatever, that will go in there. Then the last thing to do will be the uh, ground obviously to your battery and then you need a charger in which um, goes from your vehicle and then the auxiliary battery out which goes to the positive of your battery. Now that I know where everything's going to go and that I've got everything hooked up where I want it, I'm going to install it onto that little um, frame that we made up starting with this unit and then I want to wire everything in with some little, oh they're not there now but there's these little cable tie uh, sticky connectors. So I'll use them to tie all the cables down so nothing moves. And then once it all goes together, it's fixed in. All of these plugs can just come in and out. So we'll go into the car, plug everything in, and then the whole system's really easy to install. So we'll get onto that, wiring it up, and chuck it in. <laughs> yeah, so I bolted this battery monitor onto the side here. So that's gonna be where that stays and the positive's gonna reach here, and now I might just tie back all of this stuff. So I've got these little, they're just from Bunnings. These are those little stickies that I was using before. So it's just double-sided tape, and you can put a cable tie into it. So that's what I'll use to tie all this stuff back, and then it won't be flying around the place when we're on the road, especially going on corrugations and stuff. Okay, so after a bit of mucking around, a few more hours spent, I've tried to wire up everything I can pre-wired in here, ready to go. So the next step, I'll get everything out of here and we'll uh, put it up in the car. And then it's pretty much just hooking up all the little um, loads. So obviously the lights, the fridge, stuff like that. It's all right, I'll get it. Arms and legs everywhere. One week later. All right, so that's in there finally. So I've got space down here for the battery. And um, now it's just a case of pulling all these cables through, putting that Red Vision brains back in here, hooking it all up. And we're gonna be one step closer to firing this thing up. I say firing it up, but it's not firing an engine, it's firing up the electricity. You can't see electricity, so booting it up maybe? I don't know.
Okay, so I've spent the last few hours finishing up all the wiring. It kind of looks like a dog's breakfast, but it's the best you can do. Wires just go everywhere, but I've got all the 10 amp loads, all the lighting plugged in now, and these are all the 30 amp loads, so that's the fridge and the freezer in there. And I've added an extra cable for the compressor, which may be happening down the track. I want to get this new tray put on. Um, so that's all wired in. I've got everything ready to go. So now the next thing is to put that front board on there, which covers up all that mess, and I can poke the couple of cables through for the inverter. Then there's a piece that goes on the back of the canopy here that bolts onto the side, and then the inverter gets connected to that. And then just a case of plugging those last two connections in, the inverter's up there, we finish the Manager 30 on the other side, and that's pretty much the bulk of the system. And the last thing to deal with is sorting out the switch panel, which I'm probably gonna put up here somewhere, because um, the fridge is there, so it's a bit of a tight spot, but that's where I'm predicting it's gonna go. So once it's all in there, I'll work out where that screen can go, and then it's a case of just getting the thing fired up and playing with the phone and getting it all connected. So let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so pretty much finish up the install here. Now I mucked around a bit with making that panel, but I've got it tucked up there because remember the fridge goes in here, so I wanted to make sure everything would fit. But it turns on, pretty much runs, like for example, the lights turn on and off. All done from the switch panel. You can even press a button on here, which turns the inverter on. So that's all remotely operated as well because of that Cat5 system. Um, so none of the actual uh, voltages, amps, percentages are showing yet because I've got to sort of drive the thing for a bit. It's got to charge, discharge, so it can learn the battery system. So there's so much on here. I'm still learning a bit about it. So what I might do is actually do another episode going through the full detail of what the Red Vision system does. So a bit more of a walkthrough. So I want to get a bit more experience with it first and then we'll see how it goes together. There's a few more bits and pieces I'm going to throw in there as well. Obviously got the 150 watt solar panel to chuck on the roof. Um, also got some new gauges and that to run inside for all the boost, EGTs, temperatures, stuff like that. And there's a really cool, it's a, uh, like an inclinometer, incli inclinometer, I think that's the word, inclinometer. That tells you the angles of the four drive, which comes super handy off road. I'm gonna whack one of them as well. So there's a few different bits and pieces I'm gonna add in later. And I'll do another episode with a full walkthrough of everything. But if you are in Brisbane, this weekend is the Brisbane National <laughs> If you haven't heard, of course, the Brisbane four drive show has been canceled due to the spread of the coronavirus. So that is obviously there for the safety and health of you guys. So that's unfortunate, but that will not be happening. So I'll probably let you know when it will be happening. They're gonna reschedule the event. Um, otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Of course, we're on a full run through of the kit on this, how everything works. I just need to spend a bit more time to learn about it, use it, then I can tell you guys all the little knick knacks and details about it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Please click the button to your left if you want to go and check out the latest merchandise we have on our website. If you missed last week's episode, click down below to see it. And most importantly, on the far left, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.